75 middle school campers and they are here for a pre-med experience. So what we've done is design the lab and the camp around each body system. So each day they're doing something a little bit different. So they started with the skeletal and the muscular systems. So we looked at different bones and we made a map like of the bones on the body by laying down and tracing ourselves. And after that, we made spinal columns and we looked at different diseases. One of them is scoliosis. A natural curve, especially in the lower back, right? But if you have the extreme, it would be that gorgeous. So the red, there's um, five red, and that's the longer. And then the yellow, there's 12 yellow, and that's four. And then this blue, there's um, seven blue, and that's the cervical. We're dissecting um, chicken wings. Uh, I found a blood vessel. They're like these long, like thin strips with blood. Different muscles and tendons and ligaments. And I also saw like a bunch of veins and nerves on it and it was really cool. Oh, that's a blood vessel? Then what's this? Those are the tendons. tendons. That, no, the red thing. That might be a blood clot. Cool. It's stretchy. We talked about the digestive system. And the first thing we did was we got a huge like model. It was life size and you could pull out the body parts and we just looked at them and we talked about what they were used for and what they did to your body and what like quadrant they were in. Upper right quadrant, upper left quadrant, lower right quadrant and lower left quadrant. All right, this is the small intestine and the large intestine. This is the stomach, the liver, lung, heart. Yeah, these are the That's the liver, and in there is the pancreas or the gallbladder? Gallbladder. Yeah, it's the gallbladder. Yes, we have a bunch of livers. They're pink livers and cat livers. How do they feel? It's like a slime. It's so like jello. Disgusting. It might sound a little weird, but we are making poop. We um, got cracker and we smashed it up like we were eating it. And then we put two drops of water and like bio and all that. And we like had to get a paper towel. In this case, it's the large intestine. So right before that, we had the small intestines absorbing most of the nutrients, which is the liquid part. And now we're trying to get the rest of the liquid out using the large intestine. So we had like these urine and blood samples from three patients and we had like background information from the patients and so we put them in like a sampler tray and then we put these testing sticks into them. We used a diagram to find out how high the glucose in their body was for like the urine and the blood and then we had to determine if they had diabetes and then if it was type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. It made me feel like a real doctor.
heart, um, so the cardiovascular system, and respiratory system with the lungs. We are going to dissect a sheep heart, and we got to touch um, a pig, a cat, a rat, um, and a cow's heart. We got to like put our hands inside the tubes and stuff. We found out about the arteries and um, the different chambers, the atriums, and how um, the blood flows. We're learning how to take our blood pressure, and it's, it's really fun because you get to pump stuff up. The, the, the first number you hear, you hear the thud, is the systolic. Yeah, systolic. And then the second number that you hear is diastolic. So I put this here. I'm gonna pump this until this gets to about 120. When I stop hearing it, I'm gonna wait for it to go down, and then I'll tell you the blood pressure. I'm not hearing anything. Oh, I hear it now. Okay. Okay. So this blood pressure is like, I think it's 160 over 40. So. I enjoyed doing the echocardiogram, looking at how flexing different parts of your body requires more oxygen than doing other things, and looking at the variation from relaxing to flexing. And so these are pig lungs on the side and then a pig heart in the center. Um, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how air travels down the trachea and we're gonna inflate the lungs, okay? So watch quick. So I'll pump it up again, touch it. So all those little air pockets, like bubble wrap, they're filling up with air and causing then the lung tissue to expand. So the brain and the neurons, the brain cells, and then we're going to do special senses. So we've got ears, eyes, models, dissections. So you close the purple hole inside, so you can cut around the eye. And then we're going to pull some parts out of it to see what's inside. I don't have an eye. And that measures your brain waves and like you would lay down on a table and then like if you were doing these different activities like math problems, your um, your beta waves, which for the ones that controlled like you doing active things with your brain, would spike up because you're being sort of active and when you were relaxing, your alpha waves, which controlled like relaxing, they would spike up because you weren't really being active. We played classical pop and we played loud pop and we um, played soft pop and that and that made the brain waves go up depending on whether they were relaxed or whether they were their brain was active. So like if if you liked it or not, sort of the brain waves would spike up and down. If you want to go into medicine or go into the medical field in general, anatomy and physiology is kind of the core base of that. It's fine to learn about strokes or heart disease or um, digestive disorders, but if you don't know those organs or don't know those structures, then you're not going to really know how you can solve the problems or diagnose your patient. Well, I found it, like, my group's really fun, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Um, is this video taken right now? Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> right I now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I just want to say to new campers that it's really, really fun. And if you are rethinking it, don't.